Western styling right there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a log cabin building and then a very old stone building over there. Pretty sick. Never been out this way before. Swatara Creek. Holy crap, lift it, lift it, lift it. Yo, it's the freaking reactors. Oh my gosh. Look how freaking close we are to those nuclear reactors, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Just made it here to this fishing spot. Now I was originally over there on that side the other day. Yeah, I was originally at that fishing spot the other day and there's where that gut road place is where you can go off-roading so there's a lot of places here but i'm on the other side and trust me it's a totally different route because there's no bridge near here so it actually gets over there would probably be at least like 40 minutes it's getting pretty freaking dark out here here we go 2019 silverado honestly i didn't like the look at first but this is extremely aggressive and it honestly looks pretty appealing to me look at the front end of this thing black mm in the front got the white paint on it summit white Silver Auto on the edge there. Not digging this mirror too much. It looked better when it was up there. From right here, it looks like a Chevy Tahoe. So, I mean, I guess that could have been a sign of what was coming to the Silver Auto. Never guessed it, but this looks like a Tahoe. Now it's a Silver Auto. Here, look at that center console. That is amazing right there. You can put your phone right there. I'm sure that's what it's made for. Wireless charging in the middle and then door. You see the door over there? You got a little wood trim there, just like a Ford Super Duty. Of course, nothing fancy on the console, but the stitching and the seat material that they use now, look at that. Reminds me of the past, but a little bit of the new. It's kind of like combining the cloth of the like 90s and then the cloth of the present day and a Silverado, and that's what you get. That looks so cool. 2019 Silverado four-wheel drive LT Crew. They want 42,000 for this. It's 16 city, 22 highway. And it hasn't gotten really any better combined with 18. These two numbers have been the same for forever. Total vehicle price is 51510. So you look at that, I don't like how this is chrome right here. I want those white, but that's what you have the key fob. If you open this, you can see you can put your fuel in there and then you have this, which is really nothing. It's just a cover. I guess they use a universal gas cap now because that is for DEF on a diesel truck so look how big the cap is now standard wheels and after like 70 years they finally did round wheel wells so i'm sure you can fit 37s on a six inch lift which before you need to do what 37s probably going to need at least like a seven and a half inch lift if that maybe you have to add a body lift but look how big this tail that is reminds me of the super duty ford love the design they brought back the back here just like a 90s silverado they're really bringing things back holy crap this bed is a lot wider look how far it goes in now that is so far. Goes extremely far, you get all this room. The liner seems very, very tough. Tougher than a Linex job. You can tell this is GM. Got the badge right there. And this is probably the biggest third brake light I've ever seen, but look at this. It comes to like a 90 degree angle up there. Honestly, these new trucks got LED in the back. This is now a button and you got two cameras right there. The back axle is sitting very low, but as you can see, this truck actually looks really nice underneath. And the height may have gotten lower because that is super low compared to that. If you look at that, Silverado has maybe has gotten a bit lower. Both four wheel drives, both 1500s, so looks like they made the truck lower now. Honestly, not digging that at all. That's probably the worst thing that I've seen so far when it comes to this truck, but. There's the stock exhaust, if you can see it. Chevrolet, are you serious? You're still using that wax frame back here. That's what you're doing. I can feel it on the truck. It's gonna come off of my finger. See that? It's dirt. It's from the wax, but I do like these liners. There's a good look at the interior. Doesn't look too bad to me. So the question is, would I buy the 2019 Silverado? Honestly, I'm not really sure. Because it sits lower, I'm not liking that at all. The ones, the Trail Boss that comes with a two inch lift probably brings it, or a two inch spacer, rather have the older one, to be honest. 
but that is honestly the most aggressive grill they've ever made so yes gm may have changed the silverado body style along with the gmc sierra which doesn't look as different these two trucks honestly are my favorite body style the heavy duty body style by chevrolet and what is made realistically off the 14 15 silverado it's the 2500 they haven't changed the look yet honestly these two have to still be my favorite look and that grill actually looks pretty good on that and look at that 2019 2500 four-wheel drive it's got the of course the crew cab and then the long bed and they only want 43 for this and honestly i would probably prefer this i would take this 2019 over the 1500 any day and excuse me that's actually a double cab on that truck so it actually could be longer if it had a crew cab Twenty nineteen Silverado. And then we got the older Silverados, the better ones, right? Right there next to the probably coolest Malibu I've ever seen. 